looking to buy a contemporary family home in Waterfall Country State? Good afternoon, this is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today we are back in my favorite lifestyle estate where we're about to tour this stunning masterpiece behind us. With us is listing agent Joel from LuxLive Property Group who's going to take us on a tour. As always, specs on the house. This is a four bedroom, four and a half bathroom, three garage home. Without further ado, Joel. Thank you so much. I'm quite excited to show you this one. It's an absolutely beautiful home in the very sought after gate six. So walking distance to the school. Another really nice thing is you are in a quiet cul-de-sac. So you're neatly tucked away and it's, it's peaceful and quiet. So as you already start coming just from your driveway you will see you've got a spectacular entrance even from the outside you've got the stone cladding everything just flows and this obviously takes you to your front door and then you have your front entrance beautiful beautiful entrance if you immediately look up you'll see the chandelier and the way the pattern of the chandelier and it's starting to get like it's like late afternoon it makes like these like patterns on the wall, it looks really, it's fascinating. It's pretty. So extremely modern home, family home. It, you've got a lot of parts that are open plan, but there are separate rooms, which is really nice. You've got a long corridor as you come in, which basically flows to all the different parts of the home. And we are gonna start over here today. So immediately, yeah, to your left, this is the dining room. You can always make this your TV lounge and then you can make one of the other lounges into your dining room. But the way they've done it is quite nice. You've got the bulkhead ceilings, all the different lights, gas fireplace, which it's extremely cold. So I'm just gonna sit here for like five minutes and warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Built in cabinetry which if you're using it as a dining room you can obviously store your 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 your, pl your plates cutlery um, glasses your favorite drinks and then one of the best parts in the house is the kitchen nice and open plan you've got a breakfast nook over here which you can seat four chairs so very convenient and this is all very open plan you've got the white cabinetry with the gray very modern you've got your integrated appliances you've got two melee ovens you've got a warmer as well as a microwave gas stove which is great however the house does have backup power so you sort it with load shedding you've got the pop-up plugs which is convenient, some people don't think of that. And then the kitchen looks very great, but it's not very practical. Okay, so this kind of extends, you've got this really interesting backdrop over here, which adds some color and some character to the home with the chilies. And then lovely sized pantry to keep all your stock of all your food. And then really, really spacious scullery as well as laundry laundry room so it's kind of separated so that part is your scullery and this part is your laundry extremely neat I've never seen a scullery this neat I would feel bad to even leave a dirty plate in my scullery if it looked like this this is stunning I love the green element it's such a nice kitchenish color yeah it just add some some character okay now we are in our TV lounge they've actually made this their formal lounge but it could be a TV lounge it could be a dining room you can really play around with the different areas again a gas fireplace and I just want to stay here it is such a cold day in Joburg today however the house is actually quite warm inside even though we've got everything open bulkhead ceilings you've got the shadow line and a very nice feature is you've got the recessed blinds so you can't see the blinds unless you physically come and stand underneath and look up so it's nicely tucked away and you don't have to see them and this comes this you step out straight onto a deck and into your spacious green lush garden i think that's such a nice addition on the curtains the recessed ceiling you see it more and more so you've got quite a quite a big pool over here you can swim laps all day long and you can actually hear the waterfall so you're not on a green belt here however you've got the benefit of enjoying the views of a green belt 
and you must just pop your head over the wall and you're going to see the waterfall like basically in your backyard it, it, it's so soothing and you can hear it wherever you are in the home it's i was just at the poolside uh, <laughs> bus stop here oh yes the bus stop so this is lovely so number one for some shade if you feeling a bit warm and number two it's privacy from your neighbors you'll see that this house is extremely private no one can see in It's just a really, really beautiful home. I mean, even just to look at it. Another thing I just want to mention, what you're seeing up there are your balconies. Now, oh my gosh, you need to see the view from those balconies. You're in for a treat, let me say, let me just say that. Okay, so now we are on the covered patio, which we did walk past on our way to the dining room and kitchen. You've got a gas braai with a rotisserie. This patio is huge. I'm not sure if you can actually make out exactly how big it is. But yeah, you've got an eight-seater table and it's taking up like half the space. You could easily fit like a 14, 15-seater dining room table over here. You've also got your wash basin, your countertops. You've got your, your fridges over here. And one of my favorite features in this house, because if I had to live here, I would spend 90% of my life on this patio is the serving hatch so again if you're entertaining you can literally just pass the stuff through to the kitchen i think this is a lovely feature and it's very very handy that's like you said very well thought out to have i think everything in this house is very well thought of I, it, it literally ticks every single box you've got a borehole you've got backup power i really don't think there's anything that this house doesn't offer so it's one of those that just ticks every box. Over there, you've got a koi pond. However, it's empty at the moment because they've got a puppy. So you can have some beautiful koi fish that goes with the, the garden and the sound of the waterfall. But not a puppy at the same time. No, not a good idea. <laughs> And then you've got another, th th this, this patio is more open. You do have some parts that are covered. So if you want to enjoy some sunshine. This is a nice little reading nook, meditation. Yes. 100%. Contemplation like Marusha likes to say. <laughs> but look the size of this patio, guys. It's spacious, eh? And you still have so much garden space. And we are now basically, like as you came into your front door to your right, um, this is, again, you can play around with the areas. They've made this into the TV lounge. This can be a formal lounge. This can be an entertainment room. Possibilities are endless. I'd love to hear what you would do and how you would design the house with the different living areas. There you have it, guys. Make sure to leave it in the comments. Uh, what would you do in this area? Again, really nice wallpaper that just adds some color. Nice. And especially we're looking back at these clear story windows that we saw upon entering the house. So as Xavier was saying, um, the house is four bedrooms. The great thing is your fourth bedroom is actually a complete flat. So older child, if you've got people coming to visit, a parent that maybe stays with you, whatever, this is really nice because you've got your kitchen, which is quite a big kitchen. You've got this area, which is your obviously lounge and dining. You've got a nice wooden deck here, which we can't walk on because it's recently been varnished. So if we walk there, we're going to get stuck. <laughs> and obviously now into your bedroom. Bedroom is nice and spacious. Again, you've got some wallpaper over here, which is very nice. And what makes this room so nice is you've got these windows that look out to the to the garden so very private and it's pretty it's they haven't put the flat at the back of the house everyone can the person who stays here really gets to enjoy all the benefits of the home you actually have access through the garden that side to the flatlet as well as through the main entrance very yes. nice lots of cupboard space and then a ensuite with a shower all the bathrooms have underfloor heating, which is amazing in this cold, cold weather that we are experiencing at the moment. I heard there's snow on its way. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Beautiful. So 
You get more than a fourth bedroom, you get an entire flat as your fourth bedroom. Very nice, Elise. What do you think? I love this section. This is probably my favorite right here. You can sit here and pretty much see the entire house. You can watch the kitchen from here. You can see everybody having a good time. And built-in speakers, by the way. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at this entrance. Now this entrance is phenomenal. Like I said, you already have this beautiful entrance from the outside, but then you walk in and it's even more wow. Just to mention, you've got a guest loo over there, guest toilet. You've got uh, three garages, a double, and then the one is a tandem. Backup power. You've got a water heating system. And this is your study. And again, you've got doors over here. So if you've got people that need to come and see you for business or for work, they don't even need to come into the house, which is always good. So that is the ground floor. And now I'm very excited to show you upstairs. So let's go. You've got this beautiful staircase with lots of the different elements. You've got the wood, the steel, the glass, stunning, stunning wallpaper with the leaves. Looks like it's got fine glitter in it. You've got the lights coming up, which again reflects onto the wall and it's so pretty on its own. Now we are upstairs. So upstairs consists of three bedrooms as well as your pajama lounge. This is really well thought out of that they've done the first thing on the windows so that it just gives that extra layer of privacy, but you still get the natural light. So very good idea there. And then this is your pajama lounge. Um, they're not using it as a pajama lounge, but this is where you'd put a couch or a TV or a little study nook, whatever you wanted. And then we are going to do the main bedroom, which is one of the one of one of my favorite rooms in the house, except the kitchen. That's definitely number one. Look how spacious this bedroom is. And again, they've used wallpaper just on a feature wall so that it gives it that character, but it's not too much in your face. And the wallpaper matches everything. You've got the timber flooring in all the bedrooms. You've got central air conditioning in all your bedrooms upstairs. And all three of the bedrooms have their own balconies. I mean, imagine waking up to this every single day of your life. You can hear the waterfall, like trying to sleep at night and that's what you hear. Absolutely amazing. And I love all the earthy colors that they've used with the wood and the whites and the creams and everything just blends so nicely together. Over here you've got your American shutters which you can close by your bath as well as over here so that if you want privacy you can just close up but if you want an open plan you can do that as well. Such a nice element, touch to it. Double vanity, tucked away toilet luckily. And then your shower, bathtub, yeah. And then in the bathroom, the, the, the flooring that they've used is the tiles that look like wood. So it blends with the flooring, but it can get wet. And then again, over here, you've got the timber flooring. Nice, spacious walk-in closet that just keeps going on and on and on. How awesome is this? Look at the size of this thing. And the natural light. Very spacious. And then obviously where you are, you've got the, the built-in dress, dresser with, again, lots of natural light. You can sit and do your hair, your makeup, whatever you want. Very nice. Okay. This is a beautiful main bathroom. Bulkhead ceilings again. They've really added like very nice features in this home that just make it very very modern and unique and funky it's, it's nice okay let's go and see the second bedroom upstairs and one thing also to mention is all the bedrooms are very generous in size they haven't given you a little shoebox they've given you a nice spacious bedroom this is your second bedroom again central aircon timber flooring, again balcony with views of the green and then you've got again your lots of cupboards, built-in cupboards and it's actually quite clever they've used the doors 
instead of like the sliding doors instead of the actual doors to save on space which makes a lot of sense and then this is your ensuite you've got a shower over here nice and spacious and natural light love it yes this whole house offers a lot of natural light there's a lot of windows and glass okay and then down a corridor again you've got the lights here so you can see where you go This is probably one of my favorites. I thought this was the main at first. <laughs> yeah, this, I think you can compete, but that's what makes it so nice is the, the, the fact that you, the, all the rooms are decent in size and decent bathrooms. Um, also, just to mention, the curtains stay with the house. They were custom made for the home. Again, spacious bedroom, cupboard space, and look at this bathroom for like, not a main. It's insane. Double vanity, very spacious, I mean, this is bigger than most bedrooms, and this is just your bathroom. Very nice. Again, those pocket windows or the clear story windows, I think it's such a nice addition. Behind you, how interesting is that? I noticed that earlier as well. Very beautiful. Pretty. <laughs> and then, of course, from this bedroom, what do we have? Pretty wallpaper, I like touching. Yeah. Always touch. And then um, all the rooms are also, you can put TVs in all the bedrooms, you've got the connections. And then what I was telling you downstairs, that the view is one of the most spectacular things about this house. All the bedrooms upstairs, like I said, have the balconies, they're all connected. You can put some patio furniture over there. The wow. sun got the memo. Look at this, how beautiful this is. Yeah, this is next level. What do you think, guys? Look at the waterfall. You're in a waterfall state? At the waterfall. <laughs> you imagine sleeping and that's what you hear. Like, I think it's so soothing. Look at that. What do you think, guys? Contemporary family home in a waterfall country estate. Let's have another peek down, Joel, just to make sure because that entertainment area was stunning. <laughs> that was your favorite part. Yes. Yours? The kitchen, main bedroom, and obviously the view. The view is, you can change a kitchen, you can change a bedroom, you can change anything, but you can't create a view like this one, so. Very fair point. Look at this double volume staircase. Stunning wallpaper again. I think they picked up some stunners. And again, look at those lights on the way up or down. How nice that is. And the chandeliers. Yes. You can see them the so colors. Yeah. And the wind starts to play in them. Very, very nice. So, Joel, in closing, what did we see today? So, we saw a beautiful family home in gate six waterfall country estate in a cul-de-sac four bedrooms all en suite you've got a borehole you've got backup power you've got a water heating system swimming pool multiple living areas modern open plan beautiful patio it literally ticks every single box thank you so much for joining me today um and it was a pleasure to show you this beautiful, beautiful home. Joel, amazing. Truly, truly. A contemporary family home in the waterfall country estate. Guys, how's this for entertaining? All good, all good. Look, here, it's coming to life as we speak. Guys, curious to see your comments, your questions. Make sure to reach out. Joel's phone number and email address will be below. Send her a message or just drop a comment and we'll take it from there. And have you seen the bust up, how nicely it lights up at night? Look at this, how awesome is this? Guys, thank you so much for your time to stop by. Any questions, make sure to reach out. And as always, send her a message, get in contact with her, or just drop a comment and we'll take it from there. Thank you for taking the time to join us to watch this. Have an awesome, awesome afternoon.